Good morning for another beautiful morning here in Nesebar, Bulgaria. Uh, we just woke up, we had some coffee, had some Bulgarian breakfast, which is pretty much <laughs> uh, bread and some peppers, grilled peppers mixture with tomato and everything like that. It's a really, really nice paste uh, that you can have with your bread. Uh, but it was this was literally our morning and right now it is 10.41 and from Neseba we're gonna take the car on about 10 minutes drive and we're going to Sunny Beach which is the um, the city right next to Nesebar. We're gonna go there, uh, stay on the beach for a bit, maybe walk around, see what we can do and obviously we're gonna share everything guys with you but just look at that right there. And that is the view from our apartment as you could see it. Um, you might have probably seen it on Instagram, on our Instagram, I am traveling. If not, make sure you go follow us there. But uh, yeah, let's go to Sunny Beach, guys. Right guys, change of plans. Um, what happened, we went to Sunny Beach and we weren't actually be able to, we weren't able to find some reasonable parking. So uh, the parking on the street, it's all right, it's, which is two left per hour. And obviously we were gonna stay four or five hours. Uh, so that would add up to about 10 or 12 lev, uh, which is about, uh, I'll make a conversion, about five to six British pounds. But uh, we weren't able to pay those parking uh, those parking lots because you are only able to pay if you have a Bulgarian telephone number or uh, via the website which wasn't working uh, it wasn't loading I don't know why I don't know what happened so we actually came back to Nesebar and uh, we're gonna go to one of the main beaches here right next to our hotel so um, if you remember from the first day we went to a smaller beach now we're gonna go to the large one I think I filmed it a bit in um, that last video excuse me but yeah, <laughs> sunny beach, uh, make sure you, you check out parking around there or maybe you can even park further away from, from the beach but because we have uh, my sister-in-law which is pregnant and uh, obviously we weren't able to walk that much. So we came back, we're gonna go to that beach and uh, we're gonna show you that one. <laughs> and uh, probably if we, if we can, we might actually catch a bus from Nesebar which we heard is pretty cheap and uh, go there to, to check out sunny beach as well. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, today is a bit cloudy. Not the cloudiest, obviously. Not like not like Manchester, for example. Um, but uh, it should be a beautiful day, uh, whatsoever. So we're gonna enjoy it 100%. And again, take you with us, guys, on these adventures of ours. And by the way, how look does this look on me? <laughs> Let's go, guys. All right, guys. It is time to take you on the beach itself. That is where we sit and I've got a beer at 12 o'clock because it's holiday <laughs> and this is the sun right here it's really sandy and it's warm and that's the water itself it's got a black cloud right there <laughs> but uh, that shouldn't be a problem Probably, hopefully it's gonna go away but check this out how, how beautiful is this water and this is actually the Black Sea guys if you didn't know Bulgaria same as Romania has got exit to the Black Sea Oh, it's beautiful. Huge beach right here. So it stretches along the way down there. <laughs> it's, it's weird to show it to you with a beer in, in my hand. I'm not making any commercials to Perlan Bacher, although I, I would love to be so sponsored by them. Make sure you contact me. <laughs> but look at this water. It's just so clear, isn't it? Woo! A bit cold for my liking. We've got all these hotels right here, but you can even see our building right there on the side. So. You already saw the view from our balcony, which is incredible. And this beautiful uh, beach right here, hopefully that cloud right there will go away and we will have beautiful sky like that. Hi 
guys, we're gonna take you inside the water with us. Uh, we have already been inside a bit earlier, but uh, we have been standing in the sun, sunbathing for about half an hour, 45 minutes. Now we're gonna go back again. So, uh, first contact, it's a bit cold, obviously, because we have been sunbathing. Anyone is already there. <laughs> <laughs> it is slightly cold. One of the coldest guys. Nothing can stop us. <laughs> Oppa. And you know the best way to get inside the water when it's a bit colder is just to get down. <laughs> but because I've got my sunglasses on, I won't be able to jump because of the camera as well. The camera, it is waterproof, but I don't want the mic to be covered. But anyway, let me just show you this. So already you can see where the sun is. So we've got about five minutes <laughs> into the water and uh, it's not that big just more but it's clear isn't it yeah. look at this this is my feet right there it's about let's say a meter right now and as you co as you progress down the down the sea obviously it's gonna get deeper but it's so nice <laughs> it's going crazy oh. and it's time to jump guys it's time to jump we can see you wanna struggle in there <laughs> let's do this guys Beautiful, it? Although it's a bit windy, so we have quite big waves still is there. How did you make it there? <laughs> he went so fast. He was like, no, I'm just gonna sit on the side and then he came straight away. But yeah, this is it. One of the main beaches here in Nesebar, Bulgaria. And you can see the old town on that side right there, guys. In the distance. Oh, it's nice. It's not even that cold now that we get inside. Oh, we're gonna enjoy it now. <laughs> Right guys, now we're gonna walk a little bit on the beach As you can see right here in front of me now We're walking along and we're gonna film a video for our second channel which is called Walk With Us And you'll be able to see the entire video Make sure you check it out as well I'm gonna leave a link down below uh, for you to watch the video It's going to be nice, I'm pretty sure And the sun is getting into the clouds a little bit right now But it's not a bad thing Because it has been quite hot for the day and the water it is pretty warm as well we're gonna take a short walk and then uh, most probably finish um, filming the video for walk with us and then go have something to eat because it's about half past two o'clock in the afternoon let's go and we're back guys uh, we're gonna get everything ready and then we're most probably gonna go to the accommodation first and uh, then going to a restaurant pretty much the first one as, as in the first day the, we have been there twice already we're gonna go a third time because we know that food is fresh and it's good and it's also cheap which is a win-win situation for all of us yeah <laughs> so let's go shower done 
now we're getting ready to go and eat something and i've got my crazy hair going on right here i don't know what's <laughs> happening but i'm gonna try and fix it uh we're going as i said to the same restaurant that we went in the first day and uh i think we went in the evening of the first day as well or maybe it was the second day i can't remember exactly but it's called white rose and it's actually recommended on uh, travelers blogs uh, because it's cheap it's good it's local a lot of local people come to dine there you know when you go to the restaurants right there in old Nessa bar or the ones on the beach the one that we just went to it's going to be a lot of tourists although uh, you'll be able to see Bulgarian people for example you'll see quite a lot of people from outside because obviously they're gonna market to them so it's sometimes even three times more expensive than the one we're going to right now white rose and by the way the one in white rose there's always a queue so we went two times we always had a queue and as long as we stay there uh, we stay probably an hour there was still a queue going on so that is when you know the food is really really good when there's a queue outside and a continuous queue as well going on other reason but i'm already lingering too long guys let's go and eat something and we're out and we've got about a five minutes walk so let's go Alright, so as you could see, we had some pancakes straight after uh, we had our lunch because obviously we wanted something sweet. And now we got some coffee, an Italian espresso, they say real Italian espresso, and we're walking off the food to say it like that. Uh, we're just walking around uh, the city of Nesabar, the new part actually of, uh, of Nesabar, which is full of restaurants, as you can see on the side. Um, by the way, you can also check the prices and everything they have in the menu uh, in the front of the restaurant So you don't even have to go inside because they have it laid out for you to check it They've also got these supermarkets that are really nice with fresh produce So they've got fresh tomatoes and everything. Uh, it might be actually be grown locally, which is pretty nice Yeah, just gonna walk around and uh, we'll see how it goes. We're thinking about going to the amusement park here in Nessabar, one of them at least uh, here in Nessabar but we'll see about that uh, later on it is supposed to start raining in about two hours so we're gonna have to check the weather as well but obviously you're gonna find out because we will take you with us on our journey so let's go
and we're back in the old town guys uh, and again another of those beautiful churches uh, actually the ruins of the churches uh, you can see them right here look at these guys let me show you these so these date back to the th 10th century so that's about the 19 900s actually so it's more than a thousand years old uh, and the church is the same period so the 10th century uh, this is actually called the church for uh, saint john the baptist yeah saint john the baptist right you can see him right here as well it is really beautiful we've got a history on the on the plates right here nice beautiful hotel right next to it obviously it is called saint john and uh, it says right here that it dates back to the 10th century <laughs> you even have a donation box right there if you want to pay by card or cash <laughs> You can do that as well if you want, uh, but it's just an incredible piece um, of history. You've also got this writing on the walls. Uh, it seems like it's Bulgarian, but sometimes it's so similar to Greek. I don't know why. It might be some of the le letters that they use in common, but yeah, it's really, really nice. And as I said, this is just one of the many churches uh, here on the peninsula of Nesabar Old Town. Amazing. And that was it guys. We had an amazing day. Even though we didn't make it to sunny beach, uh, we had an amazing day at the beach that is right next to us. Uh, I think it's pretty much called Nesebar Beach Old Town, not actually New Town. I'm not 100% sure, but it is a good beach. It's really nice as you can see on the video. After that, we went into the Old Town, walked around there, filmed the video for Walk With Us, so make sure you check that out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you guys to check it out. Uh, walk with us it's a it's a really nice uh, channel so make sure you check it out as well because you're gonna be able to see more of our videos so uh, yeah it's more content more uh, more videos to look at uh, for you uh, but yeah it was it was really nice we actually stopped for a, for a coffee and some drinks in, in the old town and uh, then obviously walked back and um, staying inside the apartment because it started raining pretty pretty bad um, and uh, we played some cards and that was not nice but i hope you enjoyed it uh, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here uh, and i'll see you in the next one guys stay tuned we're gonna start filming right now for the next video so stay tuned see you in a bit.